was I was already in my twenties when I met Johnny. He was uh, he come from Queens, and me and Johnny met, and Sil, and then David and Arthur, and then we formed the Dolls. And uh, do you remember when you first got in contact with drugs? Uh, pretty late in life, actually. Uh, that whole drug era in the late '60s. For some reason, uh, even though most kids my age are getting into drugs, I never got into it, really. Not, not even smoking pot, not drinking, no hard drugs. But it seemed like after it was all over, and I was already in my late 20s, 27, 28 already, and uh, it was after the doll even were over, uh, I started experimenting with drugs, and uh, unfortunately with the wrong kind of drugs, hard, real hardcore uh, addicting drugs like, like heroin. Do you uh, and me and Johnny sort of got into that at first for a while. At the same time, or had he been on it for a longer time? No, no, not really. Like I said, very late in life. And uh, but but it's such an addictive drug. It was a little too late before we found out enough information about it. Before we realized what we were getting into, it was much too late. Have you seen any of your younger friends, musicians, start dr yeah, with drugs? Yeah, I see a lot of it. A lot what, of what do you do when I, you see it? Well, I do the best I can. I, I mean, I can't do do too much for everybody because I don't know everybody but anybody I know or see getting into it I'll, I'll at least give them my opinion maybe if they respect me enough at least through the music maybe they'll they'll realize or think I know what I'm talking about maybe it'll help you know some I think some people I've talked to have listened to me and have been lucky enough to learn a lot about drugs see that's my misfortune I knew nothing about drugs and what it could do uh, I ignored. Uh, I ignored it. Uh, I didn't. I just didn't have the knowledge of it. You know. What impact do you think uh, the drug addicted artist ha has on his audience, his public? That's uh, that's kind of uh, kind of varies, I guess. You know, some people might look at it as a romantic uh, type of thing where they say, "Wow, I guess they're that good because they're on drugs." But that is that is definitely not so. I think uh, a music a, a musician that just sticks to his art. Uh, and spends more time on that than he does on drugs or anything else, has more chance of creating a lot more, you know. I think drugs really do interfere with your creativity. I know it has with me. I know it has with people I know who are on drugs. Johnny Thunders, for example. Uh, yes, Johnny. Uh, he, he's done much, much better when we were younger. We got a lot more accomplished without drugs than we have with drugs. But, I mean, we know that now, you know, and he knows it. I think he just needs a little bit more of a chance than maybe I had. Hey, the jump don't affect him. The jump don't affect him. You can quote him on that. Man. Look at his face. You can quote him on that. He's consistent. I always see him. Sometimes he's just not a good show. Sometimes it's not so good, but you can always count on his music to be good. That's why he's good. Most every gig I go to, there's all kinds of young kids, all kinds of people coming in trying to turn you on with drugs and stuff like that. Trying to turn you on? Well, well, a lot of people show up at gigs with drugs maybe to impress you, to, you know, or to, to uh, set up some kind of a relationship with you. You know, they think that's the way to, make, to, to get your attention, which it's not. They don't know that. I do. I've been doing it for 22 some odd years I've been playing, you know. So I'm used to this. They're not used to it. Most of these kids, it's new to them. They don't realize that all you got to do is sit down and talk normal to make friends. But as, as long as it's, 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 up to, it's up to myself, it's up to each individual what they want to do. Is it really? Isn't yeah, it up to me if you uh, take heavy drugs? Is it up to you if yeah. I take them? Yeah. Is it? I, it's a question. I don't know. What, I don't, you, you answer it. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to myself what I want to do with my life, you know. But uh, from what I see, I, I think drugs interfere with a person's creativity. You know, especially, maybe at the beginning, the person may not realize it. They may think it gets them into it. Is it my business if you take heavy drugs? Yeah, I mean, the average well, man on the street, is it, is it his business if some musicians or uh, teenage idols uh, take heavy drugs? I, don't I mean, think it is. it's his business unless he wants to make it his business. It's up to him if he wants to. As long as he plays good music, I don't care what he does in his personal life, you know? It's none of my business. I mean, I play music, that's what I do. You know, I'm not a professional drug taker. I don't think. The last time I saw him, he was uh, up in the dressing room in Maxis, Kansas City. He was shooting ice water. Um, 
Do you remember when you started with drugs? Drugs, yeah. Tell me about it. How did you start? I started smoking pot. I guess the way we were kids too. Guns are heavier things. started shooting? Yeah. Do you remember why you started? Just to have a good time. I mean, there was no, uh, nothing to escape from or nothing like that. There was no, uh, problems like a lot of kids start because they, uh, you know, they're bored and lonely and, you know, it makes them feel like they're, they're alive, I guess. It's just it's been having fun. What do you think about that now, nowadays? I think it was, um, a lot, has a lot to do with the way, uh, people look at me and think of me, but, uh, I mean, I would never, uh, first of all, uh, turn anyone on to drugs. I think it's, you know, it's a hard thing to handle, you know, and, um, uh, once you get into it, it's really rough to get out of. Uh, what would you do if you saw a young kid uh, in your band trying to, to start shooting? Would you do some, anything about it? Well, I'm not one, you know, I can't preach to anyone because I'm not one to speak. You know, I've, I've always told everyone that's started, started doing it, you know, they don't know what they're in for, you know. It's not, you know, an easy life. Uh, how would you say it has affected your mind and your music? My mind? Yeah. I don't think it's starting to think to my mind. Or my music. Because, you know, I've played rock and roll before I started taking drugs and play rock and roll now. Would you have been a, a better rock and roll musician if you hadn't started with drugs? I don't know you say? if I would have been better, but I would have been a successful, you know, successful a long time ago. Successful in what terms? Having a lot of money. But that's not why you play. No. But still, you. You. I mean, it helps. Yeah. But you wanted to s get out of the drugs. I didn't ever want to really stop. What's going to happen to you? I don't know what's going to happen to you. Well, but I don't take drugs. They buy a car and they cross the street. I mean, you know, if something's gonna happen to you, it's gonna happen, you know, that's the way life goes, you know, you can't predict the future. So you, you don't have uh, a will to get rid of the drugs for yourself? I don't find them as a major problem. Yeah. That would mean you people see people 
so many people, you know, thinking they know what what I am and what I'm trying to do, and nobody knows what I what I am and what I want to be and what I want to say. Nobody really listens. That makes you want to just leave. Yeah. That means you would you won't play or I still make records. But do you want to go away from everything?